space has mesmerized humanity for thousands of years. Our universe is teeming with billions of stars, nebulae, and galaxies, and we have only scratched the surface in our observations. Though new technologies and observational methods have told us more and more about our cosmic surroundings, there is always more to know, and new discoveries are made every day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be discussing three intriguing mysteries about the final frontier. Astronomers find mystery object in mass gap. Many aspects of our universe and the objects that lie within it are mysteries to us. One of these mysteries is the existence of a mass gap between neutron stars and black holes. When gigantic stars end their life, they collapse under their own gravity and turn into black holes. However, when smaller stars end, they explode as supernovas and leave behind neutron stars, dense remnants of what they once were. Until recently, the heaviest neutron star ever recorded weighed 2.5 solar masses, while the smallest black hole weighed in at 5 solar masses. Of course, the obvious and mysterious question is, what, if anything, exists in this mass gap? On August 14, 2019, LIGO and VIRGO, two space observation machines, discovered an object with a weight of 2.6 solar masses, the first of its kind to ever be found. Scientists say that LIGO and VIRGO detected this object after it merged with a black hole weighing 23 solar masses, an action that sent huge gravitational waves. Northwestern University's Vicky Calagera said, We've been waiting for decades to solve this mystery. We don't know if this object is the heaviest known neutron star or the lightest known black hole, but either way, it breaks a record. Patrick Brady, a professor at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, says that the mass gap may not even exist at all and suggested that it was merely our observational constraints keeping us from seeing the full picture. Calogera goes on to say that this mystery object could be a neutron star merging with a black hole. This possibility has only ever been demonstrated in theory and has never been observed. However, she also adds that it may simply be the lightest black hole ever detected, which, of course, would also be an incredible find. In the future, researchers hope that LIGO, Virgo and other means of observation will detect and identify similar objects that will tell us more about what they could be. Charlie Hoy, a graduate student at Cardiff University and a member of the LIGO scientific collaboration, is hopeful. What is really exciting is that this is just the start. As the detectors get more and more sensitive, we will observe even more of these signals, and we will be able to pinpoint the populations of neutron stars and black holes in the universe. Indeed, as our observational equipment gets more and more advanced, maybe we'll finally be able to answer humanity's questions about the cosmos. We may live in a massive cosmic void. In 2013, the University of Wisconsin-Madison's astronomer Amy Barger and her student Ryan Keegan made an interesting discovery. They found that the density of our nearby universe is lower than that of other parts. The density of the universe is largely uniform. However, if you break the universe up into smaller parts, it begins to look a lot like a block of Swiss cheese. These smaller parts have certain sections that are very densely packed and others that are more sparsely populated. Research suggests that Earth sits squarely in one of these barer sections, Hence the suggestion that if the universe is a big block of Swiss cheese, Earth sits in one of its holes. In fact, one of Amy Barger's students, Ben Hoshite, presented new research at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society. Hoshite looked at disparities in measures of the Hubble constant, the number we use to describe the rate at which the universe is growing. Since it describes the condition of our universe, Hubble's constant is expected to stay the same throughout the universe. However, Hoshite found an important difference. To get a local measurement, he found Hubble's constant by analyzing the movement of relatively close Type 1a supernovas. To get a cosmic measurement, he used cosmic microwave background radiation, leftovers from the Big Bang. 
Hoshite believes that the massive void theory, also known as the Swiss cheese theory, may be to blame for the disparity in Hubble's constant, saying the constant is higher using the supernova method. This is in accordance with how we would expect a void to affect the Hubble constant. Gravity from higher density areas is pulling things out of the void at a faster rate than we would otherwise expect. Surprisingly, the astronomical research community seems to be in agreement on the massive void theory. Researchers believe that this particular void is seven times bigger than any other void they have ever measured, and our galaxy is a few hundred million light-years away from the void's center. Surely, such findings serve to remind us once again how minuscule we are in the context of the universe. Even so, this relatively new theory brings us a step closer to understanding how our universe is built, structured, and designed, and it may help us solve other mysteries in the future. Mysterious particles are slamming into Earth Several years ago, in 2008, Pamela, a cosmic ray research apparatus attached to an Earth-orbiting satellite, noticed an excessive surplus of positrons in Earth's atmosphere. Positrons are the electron's antimatter counterpart. Antimatter is anything that is the opposite of normal matter, and when the antimatter positron meets an electron, they often cancel each other out and release a wave of gamma rays. Scientists have ways of tracking these gamma rays and can monitor them. Scientists and physicists have wondered about the origin of this positron surplus for a long time, and for several years, they seemed to believe that the positrons came from pulsars located relatively close to Earth. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars that emit electromagnetic radiation. Sometimes, spinning more than 700 times a second, pulsars whirl and smash particles into each other, including positrons and electrons. If enough energy is generated, these positrons can be flung out of the pulsar's rotation and sent across the cosmos, sometimes landing on Earth. But despite the popularity of this original theory, the new research team on the case believes that the intriguing substance of dark matter could be at work. Ruben Lotes Koto from the Max Planck Institute for Nuclear Physics said, When I started this work, I really believed it was pulsars. But these two pulsars actually cannot provide enough positrons in order to account for this positron excess. However, not everyone in the astrophysics community believes that dark matter is at work, and some are even accusing Lopez Cotto's team of misinterpreting data. Dan Hooper from the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory is among the scientists still on the side of pulsars, saying, I am as convinced as ever that these pulsars are contributing very significantly to the local positron excess, and very well could dominate it. Since 2015, a research team at the High Altitude Water Sherenkov Gamma Ray Observatory in Mexico's Pico de Orizaba National Park has been analyzing and tracking high-energy particles such as these positrons. After careful analysis, the research team has concluded that the pulsars most often credited for the positron excess, commonly known as Jaminga and Monogem, are not moving fast enough to send positrons all the way to Earth. Even though these pulsars may not be the reason for Earth's positron excess, the explanation should not necessarily jump straight to a dark matter explanation. Hooper and MIT's Tracy Slater both remain skeptical about the possibility of this explanation. Since dark matter is said to make up the majority of the universe's mass, Slater says that if the positrons were the product of dark matter, the evidence would be everywhere. The truth is that no one knows where exactly these particles are coming from. Pulsars may be hurtling them towards Earth, or maybe dark matter annihilation is to blame. The only way to find out is to keep observing, researching, and analyzing. But what do you make of these mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's grow this community and get to solving these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.